Hey guys, sorry for the overly dramatic music at the beginning here, but I want to answer one question today and one question alone. Which form builder should I use in my Embraco install? Hey guys, first up we have Embraco Forms, which is the oldest offering of the form builders. Started many moons ago, it is known as the artist formerly known as Contour. Umbraco Forms is owned and operated by the Umbraco HQ. It is closed source and is currently priced at 129 euros, which is waived if you use it with the Umbraco Cloud. It is probably the easiest of all three to install since the installer comes bundled right inside Umbraco. Some of its standout features include excellent workflows and multi-page forms. Workflows can be configured quickly and a new one can be created quite easily. Documentation is quite light, but there are a lot of examples on our Umbraco, and then they do have Umbraco TV as well. Out of the box, users can export to the Excel format, but it's in binary. And it seems that the only way to do CSV or anything like that is to implement your own, which you can do. Umbraco Forms has validation and depends on three jQuery scripts in order to render properly. Umbraco Forms uses the local SQL database for its form data storage, and it doesn't appear that there's an easy way to swap out the format provider, say you want to save it to somewhere else. Umbraco Forms allows for themes and conditional logic as well. The UI feels a bit odd to me in certain areas because they have a question answer format instead of the typical just put on inputs onto a form. There are 12 input types to which you can use to build your forms with. Umbraco Forms uses an anti-forgery token to help with CSRF and offers a recapture validator as well. Umbraco Forms is less multi-tenant friendly as the security for forms is kept in the user section which requires somebody to check and uncheck access to certain forms to see who can use them. This isn't self-managing out of the box. Forms are handled by submitting through a built-in surface controller. However, it doesn't seem that Ajax is supported natively out of the box. So in summary, Umbraco Forms appears best suited for those who want a simple, easy to use form builder with easy workflows, multi-page forms out of the box, and support from Umbraco itself. It's free on the cloud, but 129 euros otherwise. Some missing features out of the box, using the Excel binary format only, sensitive data could be stored to the persistence, not being multi-tenant friendly, AJAX support could be better, so could the documentation, the UI has some strange choices, and its closed source may keep some away. Formulate was created by Nicholas Westby and Joseph Kohout in November of 2015. It is open source and free to use under the MIT license. It was originally created to avoid HIPAA and PII pitfalls by not automatically storing the results to the database. Install options include the standard package installer via the back office and NuGet. It requires Umbraco 7.4.1. Installation wasn't hard, but I missed a step and scratched my head for a little bit on what I did wrong, but in general it took me about 15 to 20 minutes still. Formulate excels at being geared towards non-tech users, fast execution, and is extensible for developers. Exporting the results to CSV is simple, but the UI seems to scrunch things and becomes a little hard to read when browsing. By default, Formulate uses AJAX submissions, and the front end depends on AngularJS, which may turn some off. Validation comes in the form of a library, which can be applied to several forms. This package offers a grid layout system to help organize your forms in a responsive way. Formulate does not include user security options, nor does it appear to be multi-tenant friendly, as their section applies to the entire install. The results view is separated from the actual form, and I would have liked to have seen it more closely associated with the form in the UI. The documentation, while fun to read, could use some extra bits on how the Angular bits should work when rendering. Submissions are stored in a single table, and it does not support any other storage providers. Forms are associated with a piece of content with a picker, and forms themselves have 13 input types to choose from by default. Formulate seems best fit for users who handle HIPAA or PII information where the user's information isn't stored to the DB by default, and they need a basic formatter that supports layouts. It is highly extensible, open source, and free to use. Being coupled to AngularJS, limited features out of the box, and less than ideal results views may turn some users off. It is unclear whether or not this is fully compatible with the cloud. Form Editor was created by Ken Jacobson in December of 2015. It was released under the MIT license and is free to use. It is available only via NuGet and it is not listed on our Embraco. Form Editor allows users to create highly customized, multi-page, 
grid-based, AJAX-friendly forms. Form Editor is different from the other two in a fundamental way. There is no Umbraco section dedicated to it, and it is wholly data type based. In this way, Form Editor is multi-tenant friendly. By default, Form Editor stores submissions to the App Data folder in a Lucene index. This is changeable, but like Umbraco Forms, assume you'll always want to store the submissions out of the box, unlike Formulate. This package is chocked full of typical things you would want right out of the box. In fact, it has so many options, it can be a little intimidating to learn at first. The documentation is extensive, and the only thing I would recommend is possibly adding videos. There are lots of examples to look through, and several that will be included in your install. Form Editor is super extensible and offers both a config-only custom field option along with an event-based system for the coders. There are 19 input types out of the box, and it's tough for most to find something that is actually needed to be created. Form editor instances are placed right on document types as a data type. Submissions are also available on the page as well. In addition, forms can be reused, but you'll want to check the documentation on how to pull that off. Form editor allows for curated experience on some levels for the editor by only allowing certain input field options to be visible. Result view columns are customizable and exportable to a CSV-like format. However, instead of a comma, it uses a semicolon. Form Editor is best for users looking for the most features out of the box. It is fully customizable, multi-tenant friendly, utilizes Lucene for data storage and no database is required, and that is also swappable. It supports polls, grid layout friendly, and very good documentation. However, it can be overwhelming with all the options. Configuring the grid layout in the data type section might be tricky for those who aren't familiar with grid systems. The UI is a bit bland and could probably use a designer eye to spruce it up. There is no user-based security for viewing submissions. Therefore, if a user has access to a piece of content, they'll be able to look at the submissions. Extending workflows may not be as straightforward. Form editor may require some coding if you want to avoid certain sensitive information from being saved in the storage. Today's episode was brought to you by Tonic. Tonic is the digital agency that's good for business. We do meaningful work. Go ahead and get a hold of us today at hellotonic.com. And the winner is... Developers and editors are the winners. Editors and developers have at least three viable options to build forms via a package in Embraco. The three form builders we looked at each have their own strengths and weaknesses. No single package will fully cover every need you have. However, with enough research and work, surely one of these will fit the bill if you need form building functionality. So with that answer, I'll leave you with one final question. Should you even be using a form builder in your next Embraco install? We'll tackle that another time. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Bye.